Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine Sky, and we are on our entry level to Mega Base 5 series where we start off being complete noobs and then transform our knowledge and our factory into a Mega Base. And I am super excited to keep on continuing because we are getting logistics system. Yes! Ha ha ha! Sorry. Sorry. Went a little bit psycho there. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Like Catherine has not turned into like a Frankenstein or a werewolf. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> anyway, logistics system is progressing with every injection of little yellow flasks of liquid. Very exciting. And we are going to get those chests sorted out very shortly. So what we're going to be getting, let's just talk about what this means to us. Okay, so we're going to get blue, um, blue, purple, and green chests. <clears throat> and those are very like these chests except they're different colors and they have different functions. So we don't have them here yet, but they're made of the same materials. Let's just talk about what they do. Blue ones will request an item from anywhere in the factory. Anything that's in a provider or a storage yellow chest, it can request items from those things. Now, things like, like this, the steel chests are not in a box. They're not in a box, so they're all, only on the assembly, uh, assembly line. So it can't request those. But anything that we've put into a box is free game. So that also means that we probably need to set up boxes for like green circuits. Um, and we have one for blue circuits. We have one for red circuits already. But definitely green. So what is going on here now? Hello? Why? Hello? Oh my god. What happened to the stuff? Do we have an issue with the stuff? We have an issue with the stuff. Okay, we have this issue with the stuff. That is not a good issue with the stuff. Dang it. Okay, <clears throat> let's fix that. Let's -a fix it. Let's -a go. All right, and this stuff is getting a little bit uh, done. Done, done, done. So we can delete some of those belts and, and recycle them, <clears throat> which is precisely what the green chest is good for. But let's do one thing at a time, shall we? Let's go ahead and get a chest here for some green circuits. I'm putting a split here, okay? Important to do a split so it just doesn't eat up all of the green circuits at all times. And on these, I just do a simple limit of like, say, two. Green circuits stack very high. They have a stack size of 200. So we don't need more than two stacks, uh, generally. Now then... The next thing we want to do is we want the we want this. I'm starting to make weird noises. You know this is exciting. Mm -hmm. Tasty nice it is. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, we are still getting these guys, and the different colored belts do not make any difference. Yeah, we do have a tiny bit too many of these cars, but it's fine. Um, so. So we have the requester chests. We're just talking about this. Um, we're going to get them soon. But uh, buffer chests are interesting. Those are the green ones. And what they can do is they can um, request items um, and also supply them to say, say the best use of supply is where you would go and say, ah, Let's go ahead and um, put a buffer chest by the train station because maybe we're out, maybe we're, we're working on something and we just need a resupply. So if we have a buffer chest by the train station, the local bots there can just refill our inventory very quickly instead of traveling like all the way from the mall over here, right? The mall's like over here. And uh, this is this would be much faster than traveling across the base. So requests or chests, the blue ones do not supply to like via the network. In fact, once something is in a request or chest, it effectively disappears, right? So it's no longer because it's it's intended to have an inserter into a machine. Buffer chests have this kind of like link where they can supply stuff to other things. They also come with new problems. Uh, such as uh, you have to click a box on a requester chest to say, hey, supply from a buffer chest. And we're going to do that because that is going to be the primary way we're recycling in our belt mall here, okay? 
Um, the next thing is the we have the purple chests. Now, purple chests I have usually here. You can see they are here. They do exist here. What these do, these are basically they empty themselves. So they're, they're like, robots, help! We have stuff! Take it away! So they take stuff away. The intention is, like, for this train, it's going to come back with the garbage quite often. So we just want to empty the garbage as, you know, as much as possible. And this, if it's put into, like, a provider or a storage chest... Who knows when the bots are going to use it? I mean, it's just not, you know, not a thing. So we want to use the empty everything chests in a garbage cart. You do not want to use it on, on like ore because it's just going to clog your storage system. However, having said that, we probably would like to put a little bit of this ore in a provider chest because I think we need some for concrete later. So go ahead and make these all uh, provider chests here. And that will make things nicer so that we can request stuff. I don't think we need it for copper. Um, I don't think we need it for stone. Also, this train. Oh, that's the fuel train. Okay, never mind. There is a solar train. I think this is the solar train. We don't actually need that one because we just don't. Um, uh, also, this train should be fix we need to tra change this uh train to have the actual things that it's supposed to be requesting because i think we just plopped a couple of chests there and i forgot they were requester chests anyway <clears throat> but yeah uh a lot of stuff can be put into boxes last time we put in um the walls into a box and also we had the um the stone bricks <clears throat> like this chest here can be converted into a requester so it can just put uh stone on the line here why do we have stone on one line? Oh, that's not great. That is decidedly ungreat. Ugh, yuck, this is bad. Um, we can also put in a, a this guy over here too to even out the belts a bit better. Okay, looks like everything is running a bit better now. Yay, hooray, that's good. We need a... Wow, there's nothing between these two? Huh. We should always have these guys uh, balancing each other there. But anyway, so that's an introduction into the various new chests that we're going to be getting. Requester chests are really great because you can build a nice mall without having to be tied to the belts. Um, and that's where the most useful uh, of this comes in. In terms of the actual factory, you do not want to build a huge bot network of just requester chests everywhere because the bus allows you to prioritize whereas putting requester chests does not it is not a priority system it just goes in a round robin fashion and it's very uh it's kind of un it's actually uncontrollable really <clears throat> the way you do it um where you can use bot networks if you want to have like outposts with very tiny spaces that can work really well but see how huge the factory is this is a very long distance for bots to cross so you don't really want to have a big bot network here at all for the in terms of like transporting materials it's fine for construction because that gets there when it gets there but for transporting materials it's kind of terrible all right do we have no we don't have the nah we don't have anything why did we get automation three i wonder uh, let's go and see. We can go and see if we can upgrade our machinery, which is this one. Oh, we do have it. Look at this. We actually have machines being made. That's perfect. Okay. So I guess what we need to do now is probably take these off the bar and put on the new machines. I'm going to go ahead and put both for now, as in request both. Just have 50 of those, please. And then... We can start upgrading stuff if we want to. But right now we're struggling with uh, these. We have these speed modules here that need to be made for this thing. And we need how many? Four of them for each machine. So it's a lot of a lot of stuff to do. But we can put in some speed modules, actually. Oh, it used them all. Darn it. Let's see. I can I can grab it. Grab it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, there it is. Put speed modules in the speed maker. Speed module maker. That seems great. Okay, go faster. Go faster! Go. Okay, grabbing that one as well. 
putting them in, and that gives it a how fast of a bonus. It's 40% now bonus. Of course, now that we have the um uh we have better machines now. Maybe. Did we get one? We did. Oh god. So these have faster faster bonus, but they also can hold more modules. So now this can be at um plus 80%, which is fantastic. So the uh, crafting speed is 2.25 right now. That's a lot. It's very good. Can we can we do this? No, not yet. Okay. I want more speed modules. Oh, we can't craft another assembler. We need to give it some speed modules. Whoops. Whoops. Make a make another assembler, please. Ah, I want it. Nope. Give. Okay. Give it here. There we go. There we go. So this is gonna definitely speed up our our things here. Uh, something that we would like to do. Okay, let's go and get this one. It's a little bit hairy. I guess we could have just gone elsewhere to get speed models, but there we go. There we go. Perfect. And like these guys could have been requ uh, put into being requester chests, but I think what I'm going to do is just make these boxes here requester chests and they can um, take, just basically grab the science from I think we should have some in the network somewhere in here. Yeah, there's some gray science in this one, blue. But I'm going to leave it in there so you can kind of see how it works. And the, the situation here with the assembler, what we want to do with those is also make them a requester or a buffer chest in here. Like this one should not be a provider anymore. It should be a, a requester. But... The thing is with this is that we don't, we're probably never going to need it again. So it's, it's okay being a requester in that case. 93%. My God, this is slow. Help. Help. Oh, maybe I should just grab some red chips here and just feed it to the blue chip land. I think that's probably where we're slowing it down a lot. Oh, let me just grab all these. I'll take them all. Yo, wow. There's tons on the belt here. All right, and I was just checking to make sure they didn't go in my trash slots. But I'm going to go and take those. I think that's where we're probably lacking some production is in blue circuits. So let's go there and figure that out. Let's see. Wow, there's lots and lots of red chips being made. This is kind of fabulous. Kind of fabulous. And then here. Yeah, blue circuits. Blue circuits. That's where we're struggling. We're struggling here. I'll go ahead and just put in some red chips here on the, down on the line here. And these also can get some speed modules going on. Let's see, are these, these are supposed to get made here. Um, what I can do though, is we can take some out of here and um, we can also put these in a box, you know, like here. And do like a, just a small limit here of speed modules. And then we can request these speed modules be delivered to us. That would be nice. 250, sure. But next thing we need to do is upgrade these guys. We'll just use a regular upgrade planner because we're just going through the center of this thing and trying to put them in. And we don't want to like replace every single one. So that will give us better production speed here. Not that the production speed is going to matter because the red chips are not going all the way down the line. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It's just a little bit of investment, but they should be getting stuff fairly quickly. And we are at 96%. Oh, the yays. Look at this. Yay. More yay. Yay is more yay. You know what? I'm going to steal these. and I'm going to chuck them into a lab. Oh, there we go. 12 of them. Oh my god, look at that. Such naughtiness. It's fine though, we are naughty people. Oh, there's more. There's more. I'll take them. I will take those things. Alright, 20. I'll just give them to thingies that don't have them. There we go. This one had a lot, so you can here, have those. Let's go. 99%. Boom. Yeah. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Okay, we got it. All right, so these, it doesn't matter what order they're in. I'm just going to use an order. 
Um, and we're probably not going to replop this blueprint anymore. Actually, no, that one. This one is almost always blue because I want blue to get the chips first, okay? Then green. And the last one we need is purple because we, we're not going to use a lot of those at all. These are all limited um, by circuit condition. So let's grab these out. We'll grab these as well. And we're going to put those on our requester bar because those are nice on the requester bar. I'm going to go ahead and turn off these to zero. Zero. We want none of these anymore. Okay. And by the way, I'm pressing E to just press. It's like an enter kind of command here. Um, all right. Let's put in our thingies. Okay. That's going to be zeroed out as well. Uh, I press Q and then E. So Q to clear the hand and chuck it in the trash, basically. And E for otherwise. So here we want to have 50 requesters. And we want these on the bar. So I usually take off yellow chests. It doesn't really matter. Um, but, you, you know, you just design them how you like to. I'm going to have also... We... I almost never use these. You know what? I'll just leave these off. I don't really care to carry them around everywhere. Um, but I'm going to grab some right now just to put some in places that need them. So the ones that need them are probably going to be red thingies. Um, we also probably want to put it on yellow because there are things that are requiring the yellow um, belts and stuff. Just from blueprints and stuff. So we kind of want to have those there. And then those are going to be those. So what we want to do here, we can take off any limitations here because they are wire controlled. I'm not sure why I have those limitations in here. Must have been a remnant from something else. Um, but basically, we want to change this to have a request of... You can actually just grab it and do this. And we want to request like 300. Okay. And then this one, take it again, request like 2,000. So what's going to happen, you're going to see the bots grabbing from the storage and then putting them in these boxes so that they can be uh, recycled. Or maybe they are. Okay, these are finally coming to there. Okay, so they grabbed a whole bunch there because the limit is 100 in there. General. Okay, and then this one. Request these guys. Uh, 300. Sure. It doesn't really matter how many you request. It's just going to keep on requesting them, basically. Are, are they going to get the belts? Yeah, there they go. There they're getting a bunch of belts. Look at this. So we're gonna, they're going to fill this thing up. And meanwhile, uh, we are requests, or we had 2K, but you see how it goes over. Um, also, I can take this down, and we're just going to say have a limit of 500 in there. We don't really need a huge buffer there at all. So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys on, on tap here, but we can't fill them in yet because we don't have enough boxes. All right, these guys again, 300, and they'll start getting stuff from this. We're getting Logistics 3 right now, which is quite nice. But um, there we go. Yep, that's that's the way that goes. Okay, there aren't any thingies in here, which is a bit not ideal. But requester chest-wise, we can now start doing requests. Um, I think we'll do a requester chest here for the stone. Oh! Um, that's an interesting, why did I put a provider here? There's a constant combinator doing what? It's not actually, con oh, this is, yeah, this is just telling us we want stone in here. So this basically remove this and make that a requester. This thing can request stone at like, I don't know, a thousand. So that if there's anything else requesting stone, it can also be put in there. Um, now we also want to have ways of like, uh, requesting iron. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put one here in the middle of these guys, these belt, um, actually let's put it up a tiny bit there and there. So it's in power pull range and this can request iron. We'll do like a hundred iron. Sure. That's fine. And then copy and paste over there. So that some of this iron can get out of the storage system and we'll be able to kind of empty those chests a bit. All right, these have not been delivered yet, which is not ideal. I want to go and I'm going to grab a couple of um, circuits here. Yep, there we go. Here, take them. Take them. Take all the circuits. I want your stuff. 
All right, we're taking the buffer chests. There we go. Because I want to put these in and finish this up, basically. Um, so these guys, again, remove this. I don't know why that's there. I need to fix that. Okay. Um, these, again, we'll just request 200. Or 2,000, I mean. And this is purely for recycling purposes, right? And let's see. We want, yeah, one and a half K is fine for now. Later, once we get... Oh, we got it already. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... Uh, 50... No. Uh, 300. Sure. It doesn't really matter. None of this does. It's not relevant. Okay, now we can set up blue stuff. Hey, hey, hey. This be great. This is really great. Okay. Um, we need to attach the lubricant. I don't know why I haven't, but apparently I did not. Um, where are we going with this? We need, uh, undergroundies. There we go. And then we have, um, chests. So we need to make these into this. There is an upgrade planner, by the way, for all this stuff, uh, in the blueprint book. Uh, basically chests that are a certain kind get upgraded into buffer chests. Other chests are upgraded into the passive providers, that kind of thing. So, and I think these are just... Oh, yeah, I don't know why we have... Again, why are the limitations? No idea. No idea. Because they are circuit controlled via these guys. Uh, or one of them is. The others are not. I want to do this one up to like, I don't know, 5,000. 5,000 belts. Sure. Oh, what's going on? Hello? What's happening? Oh, oh, we have biters happening. Okay. All right, so let's find out where those are hitting us. These guys down there, we need to probably go and kill them. Let's set up these belts, though. We need to get the lubricant attached. Again, I don't know why I haven't done this already. Well, I should have done it a long time ago, but here we go. Oops, missed it. Uh, all right, good. All right, so that's going to get us... That That is the primary need for lubricant other than the flying robot frames and, and engines and stuff. I want to make my way toward the spider tron. This is where our goal is right now. So we need to get exoskeleton legs. Perfect. Okay. And then spider tron. Okay. Rocket control units. And then spider tron. Sorry. Um, yeah. Military. Apparently we need as well. Spider tron. <laughs> um, what else? Green thingies. Oh yeah. All right. Efficiency modules. We also, let's get these as well start these guys because we want to make the spidertron asap right it's much more important than the rocket at this point because we really really want to kill stuff without having to go out there ourselves that's an important consideration uh where did the, there's a spidertron okay more guns okay go go all right let's let that happen Right now, we're going to just go down to the um, to that area where the biters have been. We're just going to put a bunch of lasers. That's what we're doing with that. It's pretty easy. Those are also, those are rocket. I, but by the way, I have updated my blueprints book. Uh, added a couple of things to the, this just some visual things, mostly like combinators and stuff. And uh, brought, brought some pipes upward. Oh, wait, here's where we need to be, actually. So now, what I want to do is... We get, let's get substations, maybe. Do I have any? Of course I don't have any. Why, why would I have substations? What a silly idea. Uh-huh. Silly, silly idea. Okay, there. Where, 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 where? Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to put them in line here, I think. And I'm just going to get some lasers. Just basically plaster this with lasers. We'll just do this a little bit offset. I think that's probably better. No, maybe not better. I don't know. Let's delete this and try it again. Okay, there we go. Because they, they can, they do actually fit in this grid here. So let's grab this. Okay. Grab. Uh, we want to take off the gun turret. Okay, just say create blueprint. That's fine. And then we take these here and let the bots uh, just fix this for us, basically. Uh, all right, so the bodies, I think, were around here or were they over there? Oh, God, this pollution is horrible. Oh, no, they're by the smelting. Okay, all right, that's fine. Very fine. We can deal. It is fine. All right, let's just take this here. Oopsies, dead tree in the way. Whoops. That one is lacking a that. 
which is extremely unideal. And these have run out of ammo, probably because they died, as in the turret got kaputted. Yes, there we go. That's just fine. All right, so this should work quite well. Quite, quite well. And we will be happy with this situation. We also need to check on the pollution cloud. I wanted to show you that, by the way. Uh, all right, so is this in a... This almost is in a zone here. Let's take this one down there. So it's continuing... Uh, we need these just to get built and hopefully let's go and check on our substation production because I think we have them But I'm not actually sure and Now we are gonna start getting the building train actually working That is a super super exciting thing where we can build out outposts automatically now uh, We need to check on that real quick Lots of things to check on man logistics uh, that uh, that uh, recipe changes so many things in your factory. It's pretty amazing. Okay, I need to build substations because we need those lasers immediately. So let's go and collect some red chips real quick. Oh, you know what I can do? Since they're in a box. Let's go and request them. Why not? Go. Let's request the red chips. Move it. Yo. Okay, we can actually take off a car or two. Do we actually... Does it matter... Probably doesn't. They're just kind of piling up. Um, but it is extra buffer. So we can take off. Let's take off this one as well. Um, that seems good. And then we will chuck this into here. Uh, all right. Oops, there's another thing on our radar going on here. That's not good. What's going on? Hello? Hello? <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. This is uh, all right. We need substations. What we need. I'm going to turn off the nanobots here. Did we get any substations? Oh god. Uh, substations. Hello. Hello. Please make some for me. Just make me a couple, please. Oh my god, they're here on the belt. What? Why are they Why are there so many on the belt? Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Man. Okay, I need to figure out this logic here. Wait, did those enemies get killed? Wait, probably not. Let's go and figure it out. Let's go down. Let's go down. Emergency biters killing stuff. Oops. Oops. Let's see. Let's go. Move it on down. Let's go, 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 go. Something is wrong. That belt should not be full. And that's not good. I, I messed up the logic there, I think. All right. So let's go here. Actually put them down here first. Because there are probably still biters in the base. Yes, there are. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's fix it. Let's fix. Let's fix. Uh, turrets can also be automated in the same kind of way where you put in a requester chest and they feed the turrets. Usually it's it's most efficient if you have one box between two turrets, that kind of thing. But let's go ahead and, and put these into place if we have enough substations. Yeah, I knew we were making them because we had solar and it's like, where did they go? Why? Why did this happen this way? All right, let's keep on going. Uh, we could also put in um, some efficiency modules for the uh, the oil refineries because those generate a fair amount of pollution as well. Let's go check the circuit conditions up here because this is just not good. It's very bad. This should not be filling up this belt. This is crazy. All right, so what, what are we looking for? We're looking for... Oh no! Oh no! I know what happened now. Oh man, that's terrible. So what happened is I removed this because I was replopping this blueprint and it lost connection with the chest. So it thought there's a whole bunch of stuff in that chest. So that's why it kept putting stuff on the belt. Oh, that was bad. Disabled by control behavior. Finally disabled by control behavior. Meow. I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff off the belt and put it into the box because we want these things to be able to get to different parts of the factory in case we need more lasers and stuff. And they've already been made. There's so many of them now. All right, you go into there, please. And then RoboPorts. Okay, those have gone to storage, I think, because they were probably taken out of my inventory because we have a limit of that many. Now let's go and fix up science to be more logisticalized with robots. That seems like a great idea. Okay, 
We're going to go ahead and get requester chests on all of these places here. I'm like afraid. I'm like, oh my god, I'm get run over. No, I'm not going to get run over. It's fine. Okay, so now we're going to get these request 200. It doesn't matter how much it is. The default is one stack. Let's see. These are going to be red here, I think. Red science, 200. Because as they are requested, more stuff is going to come and, and come, and then they're going to get used, and then they're going to come again, and all this kind of stuff. So let's see. This is yellow going here. It doesn't really matter. You do kind of want to keep stuff separated in general, just because uh, so stuff doesn't pile up and stuff gets to the right place, right? All right, there we go. And copy paste. And this is blue science here. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't tell you how exciting this is. I don't really like full bot bases in general, but they can be really useful for outposts later on. Um, many, many other things. Wow, why? What, huh? Why is this messed up? Why are these cars like piling on each other? Huh. Well, they'll get out of their weirdness state. Maybe I, maybe I messed up something somewhere. They should stop here. They should kind of pile up. Maybe I messed up something when I deleted a couple. But they should space themselves out again. It doesn't actually matter, though. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so now the science that has been recycled is all going to get to the right place. If you want to check how much stuff is in your system, press L for logistics, and that will tell you how much is stored. It lists it by how much stuff there is. So you can see how much iron ore we have, how much wood, stone, copper plates, piercing rounds of magazines. I'm going to go and deal with the wood because that can really pile up. We're going to make that uh, energy belt to be one that is useful for us. We're also going to do a copper injection here because why not? Uh, all right, let's do that there. Uh, so we get it on both sides of the belt. That's important to me. Okay, and then also you need to make sure that the requester chests are all in this orange zone. That's super important. Again, we'll get this. 100 is fine. We don't need to change the things because, again, you don't have to request it all at once. It can just be requested over time. All right, so let's go here, and we're going to get wood fired and burned in, in our smelters, I think. Oh, whoops, that's not good. All right, so let's go, go, go. And here is our requester. We're going to be a requester anyway. For wood. And that's fine. Again, 100 is just fine. Is this in a zone? It is in a zone. All right, so L again. What else do we need to do? Stone furnaces are kind of useless at this point. They're probably, they can be put into a chest and shot. Batteries can also be put somewhere. Um, piercing rounds. Hmm. That might, not sure what we should do with that. We might, I don't know if we need them for the spider tron or not. I've kind of forgot about that. Um, circuits can be put also somewhere. Small electric poles have no use. Coal, I think coal can also maybe be requested here. Uh, I can't think of another use for it at the moment. Let's just do a hundred here. Uh, what else? Hmm. Yeah, I think we're pretty good with stuff in general. Oh, except for the ores. We should do ore on a belt. That's always nice. Uh, we'll do, we'll do ore on a belt here. We can do two of them, and then this one also can be here. Okay, let's get this one here, and that one there. We're going to get two requester chests, and then we'll do our... This is going to be the iron ore. Just put in 100, and eventually this will get used up by the system. It doesn't have to be fast, just has to be working, right? And then copper ore... Do 100, sure. This is only going to put it on one side of the belt, but we don't actually care. We're going to do an input priority from the right here. Okay, and this one is going to be input priority from the left. Basically making sure we use the stuff out of the chest first. Now, as you see, we are having a little bit of issue with copper. And that's mostly because we don't even have a copper train yet. This is our original copper patch that's been working all this time, which is pretty darn nice. Pretty nice indeed. And here, you're going to see we're going to get a lot of these chests filled in. And these chests will automatically fill the train. It's fantastic. We love it. 
Uh, and this is going to enable our building train to actually go out and do stuff and work. Uh, this is fantastic. This is just great. Just great. Okay. So that is very, very good. Uh, all right. So these are outputting stuff. Why don't we have enough? Oh, yes. Let's look. Okay. So we haven't, so the pollution hasn't dissipated yet. So we're going to, oh, in fact, it's, it's, it's been spreading from over here. Um, but it should actually dissipate and go way, way back in from these markers. Um, but obviously that hasn't happened yet. It does take quite some time, by the way. Um, so yeah, we haven't, that hasn't happened yet, but it will, it will. So now we have an iron mine here that is producing some iron, but not enough. I think we need to, oh, fire. Yes. Flamethrowers are great. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, we can now build more outposts, I think. Maybe that's our next step. There's a couple. Here's another. We can make another combined outpost here. Maybe even make a huge one and have two of these things. And maybe we get uh, set up some train limits there as well. Are we encroaching over here? Yeah, we need to kill all these things. I'm really hoping we can get the Spidertron soon. Maybe we'll just get the Spidertron and just wait. I hate going out and killing biters if you couldn't tell and right now we're not in any imminent danger anyway uh we also can get some copper from somewhere this is a nice copper patch here it's quite close we can probably well i hate using landfill we could actually go through our power plant and go just snaking around like that um i'm such a i don't like using landfill because to me landfill makes the game trivial if you're gonna fill in anything anyway why why not just choose a map with no water on it you know who cares don't, don't even bother with a map you know wow this is done holy fuzzy cats let's put some some more solar panels down then let's check on our power we probably have enough so remember last time we set up the uh switch the power switch to turn off the steam engines when they're not needed so here, it looks like they were needed because we had nothing in the accumulators. Wow, okay. Oh no, steam engines are, are this. Oh, they did turn off. Okay, they changed color from last time, as I recall. Anyway, we survived on accumulators all night and had just a little bit of need for steam engines in the morning. So let's go ahead and copy and make more solar panels because yeah, they're working for us solar radar no that's not right solar solar power power solar solar and i like to align it on the corner if possible can i zoom in yeah i can zoom in okay i'm gonna hold and then we're gonna just drag across the screen here okay that's fine and then go up and go across there we go okay so that's two more rows of solar which are gonna be very, very nice for us. Um, it does look like we're missing. Yeah, we def definitely need more iron trains because I think this patch just can't keep up with the needs of our factory. So that's the thing we're gonna do, but we're gonna do it after we get spider trons, I think, because we can have building spider trons as well. That is even more exciting. That is very exciting. And we can use our blueprints, which automatically have a, um, they automatically have a uh, building train station planned into the design. So it's pretty darn fancy and cool. Did we get, do we have rocket fuel? I wonder. We might. We might. Hmm. We, we can also get power armor mark two. That's an important thing that we need. I would also like to set up some of the things that we're going to use. Personal roboports are definitely a thing we're going to use. Um, looks like nanobot range and speed can also be researched as well. Let's see if we have the rocket fuel. We can actually start producing that here if we do. Let's see. There it is right there. Yay. Okay. So copy paste. Okay. And I'm just going to copy this and hopefully it'll copy the orientation. Yes, it is very nice. Okay. Fantastic. So if these are... These, yep, they're already going to start to work. This is great. Okay, so those are going to be... Uh, let's trim this belt so it doesn't get contaminate the other one. Okay, and we are getting stuff and things. Did we have a balancer there somewhere? Let's balance this as it comes out of here. 
We'll just do a this and that. There we go. Lane balancer to make sure it's not sided. I think we have one further up, but I don't remember. Okay, and these things, we do actually have a lot of oil on this map. Sometimes people put productivity modules in machines, but I think we might just do speed because I think we have enough crude oil. We can actually build some holding tanks here if we want to as well. Maybe we'll just do that, build some extra storage close by so it doesn't have to travel across the map. Let's see, go. Okay, these are, all right. What we can do here also is do a, let's see, one, two, and do a pump here. Where are my pumps? Oh my God. How do I not have pumps in my inventory? Hello? Hello? Why? I know we have them. They're here uh, somewhere. There they are. Oh, I have 36. Hooray. Yeah, I knew I did. I knew I did. I you never leave, never leave home without it kind of thing. Yeah. So we're just going to put this to kind of normalize the flow of the oil. So it's coming in from outside, going in here, and then it's pushing into the, uh, into the refineries, right? Looks like we're having trouble getting rid of some petroleum. And I guess that's what's creating the solid fuel right now. It's probably petroleum. Yeah, it looks like these pipes are full, just creating a lot of this stuff, um, which is perfect. We have plenty of everything right now, which is fantastic. Really, really fantastic. All right, let's go. Let's -a go. Science is going well. Everything is going well. Look at how much science we're getting now. This is pretty great. Pretty, pretty great. We can see where the bottleneck also is on the blue circuits again. Looks like, oh, wow. I didn't even put this in a box yet. Darn it. Okay. And these guys are going to get their level three thingies if we have them. Okay. So we only have green level three, which is not very useful. We never use green level three. Uh, only level one on greens. Uh, those are the uh, efficiency uh, energy efficient modules. Oh, wow. Now we're lacking green circuits. That's new. Okay. Okay, game. Jeez, never rains, but it pours, right? Okay. And now we have, and yet now you see why this array is so big and it has multiple lanes of copper because you can extend this for quite some time uh, just to make more and more green circuits. So it looks like... Looks like we could actually extend the array is what we could do if we moved this belt over. Um, we might just do that because it does seem like we're getting copper to the end of the line. We're just not able to use all of it. So that's something we can also upgrade these machines to yellows. So we'll go ahead and do this. Just do that. I'm just doing very thin lines because sometimes there's power poles between them. But those, uh, as the speed gets upgraded, then um, we're going to be getting a few more circuits out of that. So that's great. We'll get some more down here as well. But overall, we're doing pretty great. How are we going with stuff? You know what? I'm going to cancel the speed module and just go with, like, add that later. Do the Spidertron closer. Um, okay, so then we're not going to need purple for the next bit. This is going well. I'm very happy. I don't really want to do the spider tron. I mean, I don't not I don't want to I don't want to kill biters without the spider tron is what I meant to say. Cuz it's a pain in the socks. Really major pain in the socks. I'm really surprised that this hasn't like gone down more cuz they are now producing so much less pollution. Yeah, minus 80% but again, it does take a look at this. There is some some like uh, zones open up without pollution. So I do expect it to go down still. Um, and then it'll be fine to get rid of that. But yeah, this is going very, very well right now. Let's see. Is there any other technology that we can build? We can start building. Oh, we can build stuff like this, like exoskeletons. Cool. Um, I never use belt immunity equipment because I like the speed boost. Uh, but let's see. We can also get things like electric engines into a box. 
that's really nice because it means that we can uh, do some, actually, let's put them after a few of these, but not completely. Okay, wow, we have no red inserters. That's weird. I forgot to put them on my thing. It's not so weird. Okay. Um, we'll get a chest here. Do one, yeah, just one thing. And that one is in the zone there. That's fine. Are we, yeah, we can build it. We can build it. But, ah, let's get that down one to be in the orange zone. That's quite important. Okay, we also need to get these guys in a box, the um, low density structures, because that is a thing that is needed. Okay. into a box here that's needed for a few different things and I just know this by experience by the way uh, because of stuff that I've done previously like bases all the things all the stuff all right military is working let's go back to the mall and maybe we can create some of these assemblers nearby yeah we can do it just kind of oh actually there's there's a spot there too we can put them in here Okay, so let's get a, an assembler here. Uh, you can do a ghost to measure three tiles, by the way. It's quite easy. So I usually like to share chests between them, especially if they have common elements. So let's get an exoskeleton here. Um, all right, and that's steel processing units and electric engines. And this is uh, processing units and low density structures. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is... Uh, we're going to put in these guys into a chest. These not. Okay, these are from the uh, requester. So what you can do, easy way to do this, is copy the recipe, shift right click, and then shift left click on the chest. And it adds the stuff you need. Now be careful because this thing is enough for 30 seconds of production, right? Um, if you have speed modules and stuff, this will go up super high. Sometimes you want that. Sometimes you don't. Otherwise it's just stuff sitting in a chest and that's not good. Let's put in like 40 of these guys because this thing requires 200. Um, and it also requires low density. Now you can't copy this one to that one or it will overwrite the recipes. It will not add. So we need to manually add the low density structures. Uh, let's just do 30. Now, if you look here, you can see these guys are, there's on the way, it tells us how much is in there, how much is in the storage, how many are on the way. This one, the red color means it's not anywhere. We need to maybe make a, well, we need to, we need to make a storage for those. Now the legs, let's have one square of those. Reactors, I'm not going to put a box. We're just going to gather it. For, well, actually, no, we want a box. We want a box for that. Let's make five reactors because we're going to outfit the Spidertrons with these as well. So personal fusion reactors. Let's have uh, six, say. Okay. And then legs, exoskeletons, which are going to help us run faster. We can put them in our armor. We haven't really talked about power armor at all, do we? We only have heavy armor. <laughs> Oh my god. You can do this a lot earlier in the playthrough, but I just don't like to bother. I just like Power Armor Mark II and I'm good. You know? It's good stuff. We actually have... Oh, no, we don't have. Uh, we are looking at the thing. Okay, there we go. Let's have six of these because we're going to make maybe six Spider-Trons at a time. Something like that. Is there anything else we can make? Uh, shields? Yes, we need energy shields. And those need circuits and steel. Okay. All right, I'm just going to copy this thing again and chuck it over here. You can see they can be quite, um, you know, you can fill quite a narrow space of the, with these guys. All right, again, shields. Uh, do we, wait, we want probably energy shields mark two. So let's uh, keep those. We'll probably have the others there, I would guess. So let's copy paste into that box and that will get some stuff. So now let's go and get the steel into a box somewhere. Where is it? Is that this line that doesn't have any? Yeah, it is. Okay, great. Great. Mm. Okay, it's fine. Let's put this into a box. Just two, two squares is enough. I 
Should have done like a long distance pull there, I think. Doesn't really matter though. Uh, oh, wow, that was fail. Okay, epic fail. Oh wait, no. Oh, that one didn't get placed. Okay, that's why. Okay, we used to have a lot of steel and now we're using a lot of it up. Um, it does look like we are very short on iron, which means we definitely need to go and get another iron mine. How are we faring on this? This is very expensive, 2,500 science packs to make that work. Uh, and what we're doing with these mall buildings that I'm building on the side here, we're just kind of um, preparing for other stuff that's going to come. I probably should also put in... Did we, did we get the power armor mark too? I think we're doing it after the Spider-Tron. Anyway, there's other items that you can make, but these are the most important. Uh, we need lasers for the Spider-Trons as well. Those are pretty, pretty important. Uh, we are getting belts, I think, or not. Hello? Lubricant. We have no lubricant. What? Hello? Um, oh, it's because it's not quite connected. Oh, dear. That, that looks like a thing I need to fix in the blueprint as well. Okay, it's fine. I have most of the things in the blueprint. Most of them. It is fine. All right, this also. These, those have not been requested. Did I get grays in here requested? Probably they just haven't gone through the backlog yet. See, yep, there's those, yellow, blue, this should be gray over here. Oh, whoops, what? Oh, these are the wrong color, I think. Because these should be purple, these are gray. Okay, I'm glad I checked on that because we didn't actually have the correct thing in. Copy, paste, okay, good. And these guys are better lined up. It looks like we fixed that little snafu that happened. All right, things are going super, super well right now. So I think I think this might be a good place to end the episode. Um, we are still dealing with some biter threat things happening. All these guys are going to come running for us, but Spider-Trons will help us. They will fix the day. Hooray! Maybe. Maybe. These, I think the Blinkies are probably lights or something, or... Oh, we're looking for robots. Okay, and we don't have any robots here, I guess. So, um, also, we probably should build the wall. We do actually have the wall repair station here, but we don't have these stations filled out to where they have stuff that they actually need. And the wall repair train, I think, is also somewhat borked, too. Uh, no, they have stuff there. They have actually the actual stuff that they need there. But, um, what is this asking for? Bots? More bots? Okay. This one wants radars and tools and wall thingies. We don't have gates constructed. Surprised we don't have any wall. I bet these were walls once upon a time. Here, let's fix that. Let's fix them. I think they were walls probably, not these. Whoops. Let's have wall requests. Let's see, walls, 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 walls. We need to clear those out, but at least we can get requesting the walls. Okay, let's go with like 500 walls. Copy, paste, and then we'll go and control X these. Put them down there. Um, I forgot to look at the request when I just chunked these down. Uh, Alright, I guess we have to delete them and then we can't just sort of upgrade them from space, alas. Okay, there we go. Which is just fine. Um, we need to also delete these inserters because, yeah, things and stuff. These can be there. That one can be there uh, because that is the ins that is the ammo box. But there we go. Okay, cool. So that's a very good. Um, we did we did great. We we modernized most of our base to use these recycling systems as well as requesting systems. And we're doing really well. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.